touch not us. This is Jesus conversing voluntarily with an outcast and a sinner. Again. <laughs> How uncomfortable. It honestly makes me uncomfortable too. But not Jesus' association with a marginalized woman, because truth be told, I'm a good social justice Christian, so really, I could easily walk away from this text entirely justified in my own Christ-likeness. I could easily read this text as an example of how Jesus stands with marginalized women, just like I stand with marginalized women, meaning that me and Jesus are on the same side. Except, that's not what the woman at the well story is about at all. The claim of this text is that no matter what lines we draw, Christ is always on the other side. This calls us to the unbearable irony of Jesus with and for the ultimate other, and we all have an ultimate other. For me, the scandal of this story is not Jesus talking at the well with an outcast, marginalized woman. The scandal of this story is Jesus talking with my ultimate other. It's about James Dobson at the well. <laughs> She was the far 
first evangelist because perhaps God knew that only someone with so much to let go of could be filled with enough life to have it pour over the sides. I wonder, brothers and sisters, if we, like this woman of Samaria, slowly run through all the misunderstandings of who Christ is and who we are, whether drunk on our own virtue or intoxicated by our own unworthiness, yet all the while being offered living water in the stark light of noon, which exposes all. See, this water of eternal life which Christ pours out corrodes our defenses and barriers. It disintegrates the lines we love to draw, thinking they will protect us. You see, brothers and sisters, this table to which you are about to come, here there are no lines that divide. Because here is the well where Christ meets you filling you with living water of Christ's own self, broken and poured out. Here, without barriers, you come, the Samaritans, the five-time losers, the self-righteous, the despondent, the proud, the religious right, the addicts, the social workers, the BP executives, and every other ultimate other fed with the same, the same body and blood of Christ. The same gift of God's own self without barrier. You too are made whole through your own.